All right, let's talk about aircraft lights. And this is a little bit confusing because there's four different types of lights that you can find on the aircraft. The first one is called a landing light. That one is pretty simple. We'll talk about the beacon light. We'll talk about the strobe light. And then lastly, we'll talk about the position or navigation light. Same, uh, same thing, different name, okay? The reason why we talk about this is while one, you need to know the colors that you're gonna see out there. And then two, there's actually a lot of questions by the FAA in the database about aircraft lights. So you need to understand kind of how it works. And then I'm gonna show you some examples in a second. In terms of the usage of the lights, some of them are gonna be kind of standard. Some of them are gonna depend on maybe your flight school or the aircraft pilot handbook. So you have to make sure that you find out about the operating handbook and what it says on there. Follow the checklist for how to use these lights. The first light that I wanna talk about is called a landing light. And you're gonna see it right here. And it's gonna be a steady light, okay? That's gonna help you when you land the aircraft. It's basically gonna light up the way in front of you. This next one is called a beacon light, and the beacon is gonna be a flashing red light on the very top of the tail of the aircraft. And this one is kind of like, it's a beacon. It goes on and off, on and off. And this one, we're gonna turn it on before we start the engine or right, right when we're ready to start the engine, and we're gonna turn it off when the engine has stopped. This is telling people, hey, this aircraft is hot. It's about to, uh, the propeller is about to start, stay away from it. The next one is gonna be our strobe light. And the strobe light is gonna be kind of a blinking light. It's gonna, it's gonna be like this, like this. It's gonna kind of go on and off, on and off. And, uh, and you'll find this one on the tip, okay? When you do your pre-flight, you're gonna go around and you're gonna see that light. And it's also gonna be located on the tail section. And it's gonna be, again, kind of that strobe light on the top of the tail. The next one is the knife light, and the knife light is gonna be red on the left wing, and it's gonna be green on the right wing. That's also at the tip, same location as the strobe light, the anti-collision light. And then on the tail in itself, in the back of the aircraft, pointing towards the back of the aircraft, we're gonna have also a nav light. Now these lights are steady light, they're not blinking, they're steady lights in this case. So let's kind of recap all of the lights right here. First one is your landing light right here. Then we're gonna have beacon light at the top that's flashing. Then we have our uh, strobe light, which is also gonna be flashing a little bit quicker. And then lastly, we have our navigation light. And not pictured in here is the tail one that's gonna be pointing only towards the back. Now in terms of how the FA is gonna question you and quiz you about this, and I hate to kind of do this because I hate teaching to the test, but I know the questions in there are confusing. So there's quite a few questions about the different types of lights. And what they're gonna say is they're gonna ask you different scenarios, and they're not gonna tell you about all the lights. They're only gonna tell you about some of them because some of these lights don't have to be on all the time. So you have to kind of understand which ones are blinking, which ones are not blinking, and which one are what color, because it's gonna be based on color. So if, here's an example. During a night flight, you observe a steady red light and a flashing red light ahead at the same altitude. What is the general direction or movement of the other aircraft? In this case, the question mentions the red beacon light, which is our flashing light, and the red navigation light, which is the steady light. So in this case, you have to be careful because they actually don't talk about the strobe light, which quite frankly should be turned on as well. So if we look at it, this is what it's gonna look like. We're gonna have our steady light at the tip of the wing, and we're gonna have a beacon flashing red light on the top. This means that the aircraft is actually moving to the left. Another example could be this. We have a steady green light and a flashing red light. This means that the aircraft is moving to the right. Another example here, we can have a steady white light, which can only be the, uh, the navigation light that is seen from the back only, and then also the beacon light, which is gonna be our flashing red light. Now in this case, they don't talk about the nav lights that are gonna be at each end, navigation light. On the left, you would see a red light, and on the right, you would see a green light. Both of them would be steady, but that is not mentioned in the question. Another example here would be if you see a green light and a red light, then in this case, you know that the aircraft is coming towards you. If you see a green light on the left, a red light on the right, then you know the aircraft is coming towards you. And you also know that because you see those two lights, but you don't see a navigation light on the tail because remember, it only points towards the back and that would be a white light in this case. Also, they're not telling you that there's a flashing beacon in this case, which quite frankly, there should be.